Alright guys, welcome to the UK Scale and Crawler video. Um, well, this one's going to be on my ZMR as you'll be able to tell from the title. Um, I was running a Nace 32 flight controller on it, um, but it, the bootloader just won't work on it, no matter what I try. Um, it was the Revision 6 one, and to be honest with you, since I've had it, I've had nothing but trouble. Um, like when you, whenever you needed to save and reboot the board, it wouldn't reboot, you had to disconnect it and reconnect it. And, uh, it was just an absolute nightmare. So in the end, I've now gone to a CC3D. Um, I've been watching a few videos on YouTube and stuff, and there's a lot of people who were rating them. So I thought, why the hell not? So I chuck one in the ZMR and see how it flies. Um, <coughs> so I've ripped out the Nace 32, and I've now gone to the CC3D in it. Um, there was a bit of a problem trying to figure out how to get a lost model buzzer working on it, but I found out, well, I figured out, um, that one of the spare channels for your motor outputs you can run a buzzer directly from that off a switch on your radio which is going to be one of the next videos to come out um basically uh, it you can run a proper loud buzzer you don't have to use one of them pizza ones or whatever they're called um <coughs> you can use a far a far louder buzzer which gives you more chance of finding it if it goes into long grass or whatever um so basically this is going to be its first ever hover test with the new flight controller now. um I'm hoping that it's all set up right, but there's only one way to find out, and that's by flying it. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go chuck it, as you can see it's there. I'm going to go put it put it down there on the floor, set the camera up, and then try and give it a wee test, hover, and see how we get on. So, anyways, so I'll see you all in a moment. Radio on. As you can hear, that buzz is pretty loud. Uh, right, fire her up.
happy with that. It's, it's a lot more stable than when it had the knees in it. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's, it's loads better. Uh, right, next part of the video, which is something I need you guys to do. Um, I've made, I went to a YouTube Creators Day event yesterday in Manchester. Um, and they were talking about uh, how to basically grow your channel and things like that. So I've been trying to pay attention and been learning and stuff. Um, <coughs> I've ended up making um, a new ending to all my videos now, which I'm basically going to place. Uh, I'll link it. Uh, I'm placing two videos in. So if you have a look at the previous video to this one, you'll see what my endings used to be like. And then, obviously on this one, it's going to have the new ending on. Um, if you can leave a comment in the description box and just let me know which one you think is better. Because the new the new one's got links in it. I did. Basically, you'll click on something and it'll take you straight through to it. So you can either subscribe or you can... I'm going to put it like you can add up to... Or you can go onto like the Facebook group straight away from it. Or you can go onto the Google Plus group and all of that lot. So... If you can have a little look and just like well, basically just say at the bottom which one you prefer, either the old one or the new one. Well, cheers, guys. I'm going to carry on flying this till the battery is flat. So I'll see you all soon. Bye. But of course, stupid me, how could I forget? Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button if you if you haven't. The button's somewhere down here or up there or wherever YouTube decided to put it. Um, so hit the subscribe button, yeah. Smash the like button because like buttons always help me out. You know, I really enjoy getting the likes. At least I know I'm doing things that you you're enjoying watching. Um, so do that and also leave us a comment and share it about. Okay, guys, bye.